Okay, so this program will show you how to do some basic work with array lists. So to start, we need to uh, import the array list package. Import java.util.arraylist. And we'll come down here, can create our first one. So array list string, I'll make a string version. Names equals new array list string. Okay, so this just constructs an empty, um, oh, whoops, it should be like that. This constructs an empty array list that, you, that can hold strings and you can add elements to the end of it. So let's just do that here. Uh, Names.add, so you see it's add method, and I can add like Tim, uh, I'll do that again, add Bob, okay. And then if we wanna print that, just print line and then uh, print out names. So let's see how that looks. Great, so you can see it prints it out um, with the brackets around it. So Tim, Bob, and you know, you can use uh, types, data types besides strings, but it you can't put like um, int here or double. Uh, you have to use the right. Uh, the right class, you have to use the wrapper class. So actually that's what this is here. So you can see um, like for an int you write uh, integer and a double, it's a capital D and then double. So just keep that in mind. Um, okay, so what's what are some other methods we could do? Let's do, uh, let's see. You can add at a certain index too. So if I did um, names.add uh, one Mary let's see what that looks like okay so that just inserted um, Mary at index one right so now you have Tim Mary Bob and what else can we do if I do remove so names dot remove zero then that should take away that uh, the name at position zero so Tim is removed and you can do set um, names dot set then I'll do uh, one change it to bill oops semicolon and okay so now the name at position one becomes Bill. Okay, and uh, let's see. One more we could do is git. So if I did string name equals names.git zero, and then just print out name, and it'll print out the name at position zero. So yeah, let's see. If you want to get uh, the last element of the array list, what you could do is um, do last equals names dot get names dot size and minus one. So this is different. Um, you do dot length when it's just an array, but for an array list, you do dot size, and I can print that out. I need a semicolon. So this is the last name in the array list. So yeah, looks pretty good.